leftover paints. Let's do, I got some pretty sure Raws here. I made this up, oh gosh, months ago with mica powders and a binder and a little shawl. Let's add some pretty pink. Oh, I forgot to shake it. Oh, I wonder what that's going to do. I don't want to add any green or yellow to this piece because the other two are just, they're gorgeous. But I want to try something with just the blues and pinks. Boy, guys, I am out of everything. I am out of rubber gloves and no money to buy any. <laughs> so we're just going to wash our hands as we need it. Feel kind of like I'm working with the resin, the way it's flowing. So let's just see if we can drizzle. And I apologize if my hand gets in the way. See if we can get some cell action here or some lacing. Okay, let's give this a spin. See what we can do here. See if we can create any beautiful piece like we did the other last two pieces we did. Not keyed on the Shiraz now that I have it in there. The Shiraz is the darker kind of burgundy. Well, I guess we'll see what it looks like when it dries. Wish I had some black mole out. Well, I know I can, I can know. Uh... I can add some Pacific Navy. That'll bring the darkness back in. I'm getting mud here. I don't like that. Oi, this is a tuppy, guys. I'm trying to fix it. Okay, I'm going to let this, oh, no, I'm, no, I'm not. <laughs> you don't know when to stop, right? You just don't. I 
and when you use your airbrush you're hoping there will be some really gorgeous colors underneath to brighten things up If this doesn't work, I'm going to scrape it. It's only paint, right? Okay, I'm not going to scrape it. I'm going to let it dry and see how I feel. Oops, I'll look at it tomorrow. You know, if anything, this will be a backdrop for an ocean scene. And I'm making it muddy again, guys. Slap my hands. Okay. I'll take you down for a close-up, but I won't show you this one as it's wet. I will bring it back when I get ready to do a, as a background for another painting. So let's take you down. Let's take you down for a close-up. Striations are pretty cool. They could go for coral. And I can paint with a transparent, called transparent paint over them to just enhance them. I think that this will make a good background for a, uh, an underwater scene. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. That's all free for you guys. But it supports me in so many ways. It, it lets other people see it more. I really appreciate all of you who have already subscribed. You guys are the best. Thank you. Until next time. Love you. Bye-bye.